everyone. Thanks for tuning into Finn's workshop. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be unboxing my L crate. This is the January L crate. I'm super excited. You guys know I love L crate. So let's get into it. Um, as you can see, I'm on vacation. So nice little change of scenery here. And of course I'm recording on my vacation because why wouldn't I know? Okay, I'm so excited. Sorry, squeals. All right, so this is the uh, January 2024 theme card, Enchanted to Meet You. I love when they put the spoiler sheet at the top of the box. That is literally my favorite thing. So, let's see. Let me just take out all the crinkle paper. I do save it. Ooh, okay, okay. 112 limited edition pin collecting. I love their pins so much. I had them all in my bag. It made my bag so heavy. Uh, I ended up finally putting them on a little pin board. <gasps> See, I, I can't put these on my bag. No way. It's going to make my bag so heavy. <laughs> I already know it. Okay, so... This is inspired by House of the Castle. It was made by, um, designed with love by Sayer Art. So look at that. It slides. It slides. Let me see, like, I just got it to like slide all the way. That's okay, that's as far as it slides. Look at that, look at the detail. Cute. Oh, I love this. I am loving this. I love this so much. Gushing here. Gushing. All right, so it's my beautiful pin. Oh, all right. Let me make sure that, yes, designed by Say Your Art. It's their perfect pairing in this collection. Oh my goodness. Because I need more bags. Oh my god, look at that. The hollow. In for travelers and adventures. Oh, and look, so one, here's the detailing on the side of the bag. It's a hollow souvenir bag. Oh my god. This is so freaking cute. All right, so tote bag inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart, designed by Jade Cunningham. Um, yes, links to all the artists will be in the description below. This is so cute. Just one more time. Look at this. It's so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm totally going to be using this for work, 100%. Keeping it. Keeping it. I say I'm keeping it because I do have a giveaway box, so it's good either I to give it away. Okay. Historical romance coloring kit. Okay, so these I won't. I, oh, no, my kids might like these, actually. Nice color pencils. Ooh. Oh, yeah. If I can like. There you go. All right. So these are the. All right. So inspired by Bridgerton, Outlander, Pride and Prejudice. Did you? comes with three gorgeous um postcards they said okay so where the maybe, oh oh the postcards okay do I want to keep these and color them do I want to feed do I want to feed that inner child within me yeah I kind of do oh my god these are so pretty 
Oh my god, look at them. And I don't even read these books. Like Bridgerton, I've never read a Bridgerton novel in my life, and I don't really plan to. Although I'm finally going to cave and watch the show. I didn't think it was for me, but I keep seeing all the clips of Queen Charlotte, and man, I, <laughs> she's the reason I'm going to want to watch this show. Uh, oh, sorrow, sorrows, prayers. I love it. <laughs> love it. All right. So the postcards are designed by Vera Dramanovsky. That was, that was a mouthful. Pencils were designed by Al Craig. I've never read Outlander, never read Pride and Prejudice, but I have seen many. I, I just can't get into Jane Austen's writing style as odd as that seems. I don't know. Trust me. I'm a Bronte girl. But for some reason, I I like the story because I love every single Pride and Prejudice like retelling that's ever been done. But I'm not really a Jane Austen fan. All right, designed by Jordan Fleming, a reusable napkin. Okay, feature stunning design inspired by Strange the Dreamer. Okay, here's our napkin. This actually come out come in handy for me considering I am on vacation. I do need napkins. This is cute. I'm like partially don't want to use it because it's gorgeous, but also I like practicality. I like things I can use. So I don't know, we'll debate. We'll debate. So, yeah, so it's not a napkin. It says reusable napkin, but here it's a dishcloth, which I thought was just the texture. I'm just like, this isn't a napkin, so that's a typo. But this I could use, actually. I have a nice little kitchenette. That's cute. I do like it, and I'm probably going to use it. All right, and then is this my metal bookmark? Yes. I go. Oh, my. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm using it. I'm keeping it and using it. Look at that. That is so good. All right. Inspired by Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I know exactly who that is because I actually read that book. Woo! Um, this is a, let's see, um, designed again by Sayer Art. Very cute. Okay, so those are all the goodies. Those are all the goodies. Now it's time for the book. Book and then those. So let's let's take a look at the book. Let's put all the crinkle paper back real quick so that it doesn't get all over the place. All right. So. Our book is A Fragile Enchantment. I'm going to be as gentle as possible, but I also really just want to get into it already. <sighs> Sorry. Still some crinkle paper. First of all, I read this book. Second of all, I did enjoy this book. It was so wholesome and sweet. It was really, I guess if you're looking for a palate cleanser, to go between genres, this would definitely be one. I don't really read a whole lot of romance, but it was it was like really wholesome and sweet. And also your main character, um, Miam, N-I-A-M-H. That's how you spell her name. She is just so, so klutzy. She gets so involved with her work. She's somewhat oblivious, but she's so adorable. She's just like so lost in her work. And I love that about her. But there's such a softness to her, especially because she's like the sunshine to Kit. Because he's like angsty and he's got he's got some baggage. But I mean they balance each other out and they bring out the best in one another. And all that and it's so it's nice, matte, spot boiling up. And that's the, the scandal sheet. It's very much Bridgerton vibes. 
I may not know have watched Bridgerton, but I know of Bridgerton. And he's just so angsty, and I love a good angsty character. I mean, huh, Clown, Final Fantasy VII is my heartthrob. I like an angsty character. I really do. All right. And it is also signed by the author. And that seems to be everything. So let's see who did what for this. Um, let's see, Romantic Fantasy, Filled with Scandal and Secrets. Our signed edition features a beautiful redesigned exclusive cover designed by No One Design, oh, created by No One Designs and designed by Lich in the Limestones. Those are like my two favorite people in the when it comes to these things, my two favorites. Along with pretty print. Oh my god, it has a red ribbon bookmark. I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness. Didn't even notice. If I can get it out, I want to show you. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't even notice that. All right. Um, thank you edges and then the ribbon bookmark reversible dust jacket uh, with gorgeous artwork by jenny Finley. um you'll also find an exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover case created by leech and the limestones and you'll find gold foiled edge pages done by hatch and draws it really this is really good i do love it I think I like, I have the fairy loot one as well. I think I like the fairy loot sprayed edges a little bit more because um, they had roses on them. And this one is just pink. But regardless, it's gorgeous. I love this cover. I think it's so pretty. And ultimately, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So that was this month. Next month is Treacherous Love. Um, every February box will include a ceramic cool prince mug. <gasps> I could always use another mug. <laughs> in any case, thank you all for tuning into this unboxing video. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share with all your book-loving friends. And on that note, happy reading, everyone.